Hey guys, what's going on? This is the Eric Barber here, and I am joined with Josh Michael at Astronomicon 7. How are we doing today? Hanging in, man. This is awesome. It's, it's, a, it's a good ass time. Thank you. Awesome. Great to see you, man. And I mean, you're most well known for playing Jared in The Walking Dead, man. Yeah. Um, and let's see, you know, we could do a quick pan. We got some Walking Dead love here. This good shit right there. We got that good shit right there. Last shift, we got Creep Show. We got uh, Righteous Gemstones right there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, awesome. Well, we love to see it, man. And, uh, you know, your character in Walking Dead, I mean, you know, a little bit of spoiler warning, is kind of considered one of the more, I guess, relentless characters in the show. I mean, to you, what was it like to kind of get into that uh, mood or to per portray someone like Jared? Oh, dude, I've always loved playing shitheads. Um, and, you know, I, I kind of approached him as someone who had gone through the, the apocalypse as, as uh, he, you know, he got kind of got shell shocked and and it, it became kind of a fend for yourself, uh, you know, protect yourself by all any means. And, and, um, and so, I, I, yeah, it, it's a really, really fun part to play. And I've had a really fantastic time doing that thing. That's awesome. And you've done villains and, you know, a lot of stuff like you're even in the MCU, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. That's awesome. What was that role like for you? Um, it was rad, man, because, well, it's funny because Walton Goggins, who, uh, who was in Righteous Gemstones, um, I ended up, oh, we're solid, man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Uh, yeah, we were, uh, he, uh, he played the, the character that, that it was, it was, um, I was one of his goons in, yeah. in, uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Um, and you know, it's just amazing to be part of, I was also in the DC universe for Black Lightning and Doom Patrol. And Doom Patrol yeah. So it's, it, you know, I, I've always read comics. I, I grew up loving comics and to be a part of the, those, those worlds is pretty fucking amazing. Awesome. I love it. And especially as, you know, you know, all those types of characters love it. What kind of roles can we expect to see from you in the future? Um, well, I'm in a show right now called Manhunt on uh, Apple Plus. It's about the, the hunt for John Wilkes Booth after the Lincoln assassination. Really amazing show based on the book by James L. Swanson um, of the same name, Manhunt, the 12 day search for Lincoln's killer. Um, I, I have a bit part in Renfield, which is awesome. I just did an episode of FBI Most Wanted for last season. Um, yeah, I got a, a handful of things. You always check out my IMDb. I always plug Game Night and Stuber if you haven't seen those. But yeah, Righteous Gemstones is one of my favorite things that I've ever done. And, and Walking Dead. Last Shift. Yeah, I, you know, there's, I, it's tough to like kind of, I play in a, I play, I, I'm a dirtbag. I, I play a lot of shitheads, so I, I die in everything. A lot of movies need people to die. I show up, I die. So I, I am in a lot of things. It's a, it's a necessary thing. I love playing. Yeah, I love playing villains. So yeah, it's chill. Okay, yeah. that's awesome, man. And I I want to get your thoughts on something real quick because you know Walking Dead. It's kind of like it's kind of like its own cinematic universe, like all these spinoff shows. Right. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I think it's rad. I mean, the the fans are amazing. You know, they they call it a TWD family for a reason. They're folks will come out from everywhere you know it's my first time in this part of the country and 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 people will bring these i realize it a lot of times like you i'm i'm part of something much bigger than just they're, they're not coming just to see me for my performance they're coming because they love the show had loved the show for a long time and you know, they'll bring these posters that are just filled up with with uh, signatures and they just want anybody's anybody who had been a part of the show to, to be signing the thing and you look at these things and they you know people spend they must spend, you know, five, six grand getting all these autographs and these, you know, and it's something that I've had someone at a convention one time mention to me, like, we don't, we don't hang out as a family. We don't go on trips. We don't do anything, but we sit down and watch Walking Dead together. And, and, and like that, uh, that, you know, made it important for me to come out and do these cons. And it's an amazing thing to meet folks that love the show so much and then introduce them to my other work. Cause again, spoiler alert, I, I fucking die on the show. So I don't, yeah, there's not, it's yeah, I, they'll stick around very long. Yeah. Of course. And, you know, we're getting close to wrapping up the interview, Josh. If you got any kind of message for anyone who is pursuing acting themselves? Oh, man, dude, I I have I could write a book. Um, but, I, you know, I, I think the it's all about I, I, I made a, a bad decision. Well, not a bad decision, but, I you know, I, I was thinking early on that. It's all about, you know, making friends with somebody bigger than yourself or, or you know, chasing fame in a, in a, in a way. But I, I think really if you, you grab it, find the, the artist you like working with. And a lot of times that's your friends and, you know, build your chops that way. Um, you know, uh, respect yourself to, to take the work that, that you want to, you know, you want to pursue. And 
um, you know, have have uh, integrity in that thing that that you um, you know trusting your gut and not taking. I've I've taken some shitty roles over the over the years and and made some mistakes like that you know like stuff that I I took for just a job and it's like well I I, I could have I it, it was great to work am I happy that my my picture is there forever on associated with that piece of shit movie or whatever probably not so you know it's like uh, you know respect yourself and and, and enjoy the process it, it, the you you're, you're always chasing a, a you know a, a moving target so. Um, yeah, it's and last thing, man. Uh, just for fun, just gonna be quick. Um, give me your favorite character from each of the you know your these universes: Walking Dead universe, Marvel universe, DC universe. Walking Dead, I gotta say, I gotta say Morgan because uh, you know I loved working with him. He's just such a wonderful dude. Um, DC, I mean, I, it's hard not to say Imaginary Jesus, man. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> I really looked out on that one. I was like. Oh, like, no way. This is, uh, yeah. So I, in Doom Patrol, I play a character, Imaginary Jesus. It, uh, if you haven't seen it, it's it's worth, that that show in itself is worth checking out. It's so cool. Um, and it actually shot in my hometown of Conyers, Georgia, where I grew up, which is yeah. wild, too. Um, and uh, what, AMCU? AMCU. Yeah, we were talking about it earlier. Oh, sorry. At my, my buddy Adam and I were talking about it earlier. Um, I've always been a Nightcrawler fan. Oh. Yeah, I like if I'm, I've way aged out of anything in that you know that, that any considerations there. But I was like, man, if I could ever land something like Nightcrawler, I, you know, I think it's just he's just such a rad character. Only and, after Derek. Only after Derek. Truly, <laughs> truly yeah, I, which is, he's fantastic at it. So I, you know, it's not yeah. I, yeah, thanks for the. Well, Josh, I really appreciate the interview, man. Appreciate you, man. It's been a huge pleasure. Hell yeah. And wishing you all the best. And all of his links will be down in the description below. Please, thank you. Yeah, check out uh, check out Manhunt. Check out Righteous. Gemstones, Creep Show, and Walking Dead, baby. Peace out, everybody. Thank you. you.